a pamphlet and a sequence about John Clare, the um, peasant poet as he was known. Um, John Clare lived the last 25 or so years of his life in Northampton General Lunatic Asylum and his wife never uh, was able to see him during that time. So this is the last poem in the sequence and it's spoken in the voice of his wife. It's called Widow Clare and it starts with a quotation from Edward Storey's biography of Clare. The quotation is, within a few years, Patty even became known as Widow Clare. So sure were the local gossips that her husband was put away for good and would never be seen again. Words went out with the candle at night. We are a wedding of skin. The smell of him dug in my fingernails. His cough at my shoulder again if I shut my eyes. He's written into me. This man I picked, bruised as an apple from wet grass. He was my fire in a sooty corner while the children slept. I try making do with drizzle, now I've tasted rain. I blame words, worming inside his forehead, loosening his tongue unspeakable things, scaring the children, until I gave him up to the doctors. It takes a slow breath to say it's twenty years since I've seen him. I used to hope he'd walk home after winter, stroke the new lines above my eyebrow without looking for another woman behind my back. He'd give his name to the air beside my name, as if he knows where I stand at last and who I am. What more do you want to hear? How he held a buttercup at my throat, made me believe its tiny halo caught the sun under my chin that first morning. That's it, thank you.